guys, it's Gina with Witchy Girl Tarot and welcome and welcome back to the channel. Happy birthday, Virgo, and happy belated, Virgo, and welcome cross watchers. I know some of y'all are watching for a Virgo. It is Virgo season, so that's the reason why I decided to start off this month with the sign of Virgo. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys, so some of y'all be yelling at me in the comments like, this is not my story, this does not resonate. Listen, if it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. You might have to check with your other placements, your moon sign, your rising sign, or your Venus sign okay if you're interested in a private reading the information is in the description box below you can follow me on instagram for daily reading daily oracle readings and daily tarot readings and also if you're new to the channel i want to invite you to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of the notifications and if you've been rocking with me since day one since i started my tarot journey here on this channel i want to thank you guys so much i look forward to reading your comments every month and to interacting with you guys every month i love you guys now let's get started virgo let's get started so i'm going to be covering your recent past i will be covering your present and also your future energy and towards the ending of the reading i will be drawing some cards of advice for you okay now a lot of you guys that watch these videos you guys like to hear about your love life um so sometimes these readings do cater to more of the love department but sometimes it's a general reading just about life finances your health and all that stuff so i'm going to try to read it as general as i can but sometimes they just come out as love and i have to read it as love because that's what spirit is telling me to do all right so uh, let's let's begin virgo three cards for your your present energy three cards for your past mm. okay three cards for your future queen of pentacles that's your your energy okay now what do we not know about this situation The three of swords I'll put that there three of swords heartbreak healing trauma what do we need to know about this situation that we don't we got the eight we got the eight of pentacles here hard work so some of you guys are taking on something new, going back to school, starting a new business venture, working very hard on yourself, your stability, your mental, your physical. All right, let's take a look at what's going on here. All right, Virgo, we start your reading off with the Four of Cups here. Okay, and this girl right here, she doesn't look happy, Virgo. So Virgo, right here, this tells me in your present moment that you're unhappy and her hoodie says over it. You feel over it. You feel emotionally just disconnected. You feel like, eh, meh, blah right now. And it's because with the Ace of Swords here, okay, you've gained some clarity and you gain some clarity because you found something out about a person that you're in a relationship with or somebody that you're dating. It could be someone that you're friends with. Um business partner but i'm really getting love vibes here so i'll just say that now okay um and you gain some clarity about this person that you really didn't want to really gain but it was a revelation for you you found out some truth that wasn't ideal about this person and a lot of you guys could be dealing with a water sign a cancer a scorpio or a pisces okay and and yeah so there was some some news that came your way and you're feeling right now that you're just disappointed in the situation Virgo because you thought the situation was going to work out and I feel like you let your guard down um, for this person after being so protective of your energy for so long you let this person in and you're just like why why did I why did I do that to myself because in the recent past we have the nine of wands here okay um, the nine of wands is all about your um, your boundaries and what you you feel is yours so in this context i really feel like this is you defending what is yours this is your guard you had your guard up because in the recent past you did a lot of six of pentacles here this is the energy of you giving a lot a lot of charity a lot of just energy to others okay a lot of generosity very giving to others of your time and your energy and with the queen of pentacles coming in which is ruled by your sign virgo capricorn 
and also Taurus. This is someone who's very, very motherly and someone who's very, very nurturing. So I feel like in the past, you have given a lot, possibly to this situation, but I also feel like to past situations where um, you you like to defend what is yours and you like to defend people that you love and you care for so you give them your all and sometimes you give them your all and you end up feeling depleted and out of energy afterwards so that's what we see here here virgo virgo you are very motherly you are very very nurturing and so sometimes people take advantage of that people say okay well she's so nice he's so nice this person has so much energy and all this stuff so it's almost like you attract energy vampires they first are enamored by you know your motherly instincts by your way of giving your nurturing but then they start to see that as a way of being able to fill their voids and they don't fill they don't fill your cup and you can't really give from an empty cup so that's what i'm getting um so in the recent past i do see with the knight of wands going to the six of pentacles but then going into the queen of pentacles that you have always been the type of person who has given you have always defended what is yours and i also feel like you're with in the present moment with the four of cups i feel like you're disappointed not only in this situation and in this person but in yourself because you know that you've always been the type of person to give 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 and i feel like what i'm getting is you were like i'm not doing this again like a next person that comes into my life they're not they're not going to just take and not give and i feel like this person was able to show their ass and now you're disappointed in yourself because you're like wow it happened again okay in the future we see the seven of cups here the seven of cups going into the ten of swords going into the page of cups here okay so i feel like in the in, in your future with the seven of cups here there's something coming up for you that is going to be emotionally confusing and emotionally draining for you virgo you're thinking to yourself okay all this now is happening and i have to make some changes in my life and i do feel like you're just like the inevitable is happening this situation is coming to an end this chapter of your life is coming to an end and it is emotionally draining for you because every time you give yourself to someone every time you give your energy to someone and you let your vulnerability down you let your guard down it's a chance for somebody to hurt you and like i said in the past um you were like now this ain't happening this ain't happening again and it happened again and now you feel you feel that energy now but with the page of cups coming into your future here i do see that you are you possibly maybe get i feel like this is something you already saw happening and i feel like this because i feel like you're getting a lot of signs from the divine that this situation wasn't working out for some time and i think you getting this revelation of this situation on this person just solidified what you already know it already confirmed everything you were thinking but now it's even more of like a reason for you to be like okay i'm done but i also feel virgo that with that seven of cups here it's not going to be easy and i feel like you may be putting off certain emotions with that four of cups there it's kind of like you don't want to deal with it right now possibly because your birthday is coming up um because there's other things on your mind you're just thinking about your job you're thinking about your not just just your love life and this situation but your life entirely and you're just like i want to i want to enjoy myself this month you know either your birthday just passed or it's coming up and it's like I, the last thing i want to do is be going through this shit when it's my birthday okay so that's what i'm getting but the page of cups here is there's something new coming to you in the future there's a chance with the page of cups for you to create something for you to do something great so it's you know endings and beginnings are synonymous in that something ends but is it really ending because something else is beginning at the same time they go hand in hand so although there's something very emotionally confusing and possibly draining for you coming up in your, your near future virgo there's also um there's also something beautiful coming out of this and i know that it's probably not what you want to hear and it may be just like yeah right or maybe just cliche but the truth is is that things have to end in your life and sometimes it's an ugly ending for you to see the beauty at the end of the tunnel and what i get with that page of cups is there's something intuitively coming in something that you have been creating and it's something that's going to be a blessing it's going to be a message for you and i feel like that's the divine speaking to you these messages may already be coming up what we don't uh know what you do need to know about the situation is the three of swords here okay the three of swords is 
just letting us know that you are going through heartbreak right now and this is the general energy of this reading so you are going through heartbreak but you are also going through the healing process okay or you will be going through the healing process and i have to always say first it's the shock of finding out the truth and then it goes into denial like no 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 i don't want to deal with that and then it goes into like the acceptance of that it really happened and then comes the healing right so i do feel like with the three of swords here although there is some pain and i do see some black blood some bad blood here it could be with this person you had um some uh like bad blood with this person in the past this relationship may be something that is in your recent past and you're still healing from it or it just means that in your future with the Three of Swords here, there's going to be a lot of um, healing from this heartbreak. Now let's clarify these cards using another deck. All right, the Four of Cups here, it shows that you are over it. Virgo. Spirit, show us why this Four of Cups is showing up for Virgo. What are you over, Virgo? Yeah, you're over giving, giving too much and not receiving enough in return. You're, un you're, you're, you, that's crazy. I wish I could make this up, but yeah, Virgo, I feel like with the four of cups going into the six of pentacles, you're just like, I'm tired of giving all my energy to someone and not getting that back. Um, there's, you're, you're tired of not receiving reciprocity. Okay. This ace of swords is about this revelation. Please tell us about this ace of swords. What is this ace of swords? Yeah, you guys are dealing with a definitely a water sign or someone who has a lot of water in their chart because we have that Knight of Cups. Now we have the King of Cups. So this is someone who is a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, Virgo. And this is someone who knows how to manipulate because the King of Cups is usually someone who is very forthcoming, someone who is very, very warm, someone who is very, very romantic. But when this person, the King of Cups, is unevolved, um, they could be very narcissistic. They could be very manipulative. And I do feel like this person exactly is exactly that so you found out some truth about this king of cups that this person was full of shit okay and that knight of cups is also just elaborating on the fact that this is a water sign but it also means that messages the truth that came to you tell me about this knight of cups yeah nine of swords here okay so the nine of swords coming out of that knight of cups bad news usually knight of cups is about you know love messages invitations good good things coming to you but when we read it out of that knight of cups going into the nine of swords i feel like this is something that brought a lot of stress on this is bringing you a lot of just like nightmares or when you're trying to go to sleep you feel like you're starting to hear things or you feel like your thoughts are starting to your brain is just over overthinking over overthinking overload is what i'm getting from this situation so the truth you found out about this king of cups this water sign or person who has a lot of water or somebody who embodies that king of cups energy someone who's narcissistic you know an unevolved king of cups um this person is this is someone who who like i said was full of shit and i feel like the messages that you found out the truth from this person is just stressing you out and this i didn't even this this card this flipped out okay this is the nine of wands from an entirely different deck okay you got the nine of wands from my other deck which is about boundaries okay it's about defending what is yours it's known as the warrior card okay so this tells me that you've had enough with this situation that this situation was enough for you we have the nine of swords okay nine of wands here this is a situation where you already have felt that this was coming to an end but this revelation just brought it was like the the icing on the cake it was the straw that broke the camel's back you were like all right it seals the deal i'm fucking done with this shit excuse my language okay all right, in your recent past, though, we see the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. And again, this was about you um, you always being so nurturing, you always being so um, quick to defend the person that you love, you always being there to be that warrior woman for the person you love, you uh, with the Six of Pentacles, always giving so much energy and time to this person with the Queen of Pentacles, being so nurturing to this person. Why is this Nine of Wands showing up? What is... Why is this Nine of Wands showing up? And, and, and with the Nine of Wands here, I feel like you have been doing this for some time, okay? Yeah, the Knight of Swords here. 
the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is all about going into something hot-headed in some situations, depending on how you're reading it. Or it could be that you went into this situation um, always ready to fight for what is yours, always ready and determined to get what you want out of a relationship. So the Nine of Wands is the warrior card. It's all about resilience and perseverance. Even when somebody tries to knock you down, you're ready to defend what is yours. The Knight of Swords tells me that you are always ready to defend what is yours and you're always there to fight for what you want. And in this relationship, in this connection, Virgo, I do feel like this person, again, took advantage of you because they saw that you were so willing to stick by them that they were just like, it was almost like they never thought that it would come to an ending because they felt that you were so, you were safe, okay? You were safe to them, you were home to them, and they took advantage of that shit. And the Six of Pentacles is that you always giving that energy, you always giving so much back to um, your relationship or to this particular specific person. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. The Six of Pentacles. You give so much to, to your relationship because the Ace of Cups here, you truly love when you love, you love hard, and you give your all in all situations. That's why we have the Ace of Cups. To you, you look at it like, if I love you and I care about you, then I have so much love and, and so much abundance to give to you. But it puts you in a place where you give more than you're receiving, okay? And now we have that Queen of Pentacles, which is your stability, your nurturing side. What about this Queen of Pentacles that we need to know? All right, so we have the star card, okay, the star card, and the star card is all about dreams, wishes, fulfillments, um, feeling good about yourself, feeling restored, rejuvenated. You see this girl here, she is pouring out a little bit of water into the ground. She is also pouring water onto herself, so this means that she pours out not only on herself, but onto others, okay? So when we see that star card there, this is really about this person felt with the Queen of Pentacles, not only did you give them security and stability, but you also gave them hope. You also restored them when they were feeling down and out. You always gave them that extra... Um, you always get the, gave them that extra nudge, like, yo, you can do this, you got this, you gave them that... Um, that reassurance that they possibly with that king of cups being a narcissist in this situation they constantly needed reassurance and you were always down to give it to them okay then in your recent future we then see the seven of cups coming up for you so something emotionally confusing and possibly draining coming up for you and it is in regards to this breakup this ending okay so why is the seven of cups what is confusing why is the seven of cups showing up I see this card coming out yeah we have the eight of pentacles we also got that from another deck okay so the reason why this is so confusing for you virgo is because you feel like you gave it your all you work so hard i mean like i feel like and, and what i keep getting is a lot of pentacles energy from you like you were definitely the grounding force in this relationship when this person was all the way up in the air you're like okay i need you to come down you brought this person down to earth, okay? Your element is earth. As a Virgo, that is your element. So you tend to be all about your home. You are all about your money, stability, and stuff like that. And like I said, people take advantage of that shit when they don't have that themselves, okay? So what's coming up for you in your future is that Seven of Cups is that confusion and it's that emotionally confusing choice that you have to make and that, that, that motion that you're going through because you're thinking to yourself, I work so hard. I'm proving myself like I was a friend, I was a girlfriend or boyfriend, I was a psychiatrist, I played every role I could possibly play, but still this person played me. So it's hard for you to like really take it in because you feel like you tried your hardest with this situation and you did you went over and beyond for the situation. Then we got this Ten of Swords, which is about that situation coming to an end, this chapter ending. What do we need to know about this Ten of Swords? What do we need to know about this ending? Please elaborate on this spirit. Why is this Ten of Swords showing up? Okay, yeah. 
five of cups here. So what I'm getting is that this is this person's energy, not so much your energy, okay? I feel like this person is very regretful right now. They're feeling really stupid for what they did. Um, they're feeling stupid for not only what you found out, but for their behavior in the long term. Like, I feel like they've been no good. They've been acting up for some time, Virgo. And you were just like, uh-uh. And this person is feeling, this person feels alone. They definitely feel like you've given them the cold shoulder. I do see some cups up there. So they do have some hope maybe that you are going to speak to them. But then I also see those cups there that are also like that regret of like, maybe what I did cannot ever be prepared, uh, repaired, okay? So that's coming up for you in the future, that ending there. And also that feeling, breakups always feel like, they always, unless it's not really like a, maybe it's a fling and somebody really didn't care to lose. But if this was, and it seems like this was a very serious relationship for a lot of you guys, it's a situation where you're just like, um, yeah, um, I spent a lot of time with this person and it feels almost like a death. Okay. Because you go from being with this person every day, talking to them every day to completely cutting that person off and acting like they don't exist. So that's, that's a weird, eerie sad feeling but unfortunately it's something that you have to go through it's part of the motion okay now we have this page of cups here which is a chance of revival a chance of creativity something new coming to you i also feel like with the page of cups here the page of cups has a lot of like uh free flowing energy like i can go and i can come and go as i please so i feel like a lot of you guys although you're sad about this situation because it's something you've known for so long or an idea that you grew comfortable with i do feel like with the page of cups here spirit is telling me that you can you feel free in a way you feel like you can now do what you always wanted to do you could focus on the things that you've put off for some time and i do feel like you're just like i don't want to answer to anybody anymore i don't have to baby anyone anymore i can be the baby here i can be the page of cups instead of me always being the queen of pentacles i get to put let my hair down i get to be a free thinker i get to live my life the way i want to live my life and i don't have to baby anyone okay show us why this page of cups is showing up spirit Okay, yeah, the three of wands here. Okay, so the three of wands is all about expansion. It's all about foresight and it's all about preparing yourself for the future. Okay, so what I see here is the page of cups is all about you feeling free. And then what I see here is that you're just like, I'm free to do what I want at any old time. That's what I'm saying here, okay? So in the future, although there's going to be this moment of obviously this breakup, this like sadness, I also feel like there's deep down inside of you, there's this feeling of like, if I feel this down, I can only go any uh, one way and that's up. So there's this hope, there's this excitement of starting something new, even though it's sad for right now, you're also like looking forward to a new beginning, you know, the universe tends to do that whenever we're too comfortable for too long. Um, you know, we've gotten you've had many signs with this situation, but you probably put those signs off because you were trying to make your relationship work, as I see here. But the universe will make you so uncomfortable sometimes to force you to make a change. And that's what I see happening for you, Virgo. And the three of swords here. OK, the three of swords here is what. Um. What you don't know is the three of swords here the three of swords here and the eight of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles from another deck here this one over here so what i see is um what you don't know is that you're actually you've worked so hard on this and i also feel like spirit sees that this is not the first time you've been hurt before so although it is going to be this weird transition of a breakup you are also going to have a beautiful moment of where you actually are going to be able to heal and truly work on yourself okay all right let's elaborate on this three of swords what do we need to know about this three of swords what do we need to know about this three of swords yeah, you're stable. You got this with the four of pentacles here. Okay. But spirit is also saying with the, with the three of swords, you may be holding on to this heartbreak, but spirit is saying it is time for you to let go of what is no longer serving you. You see this guy here. He's like, 
he's holding his money towards his chest so so tightly um so this can go either way this could mean that you are holding on to your money and you're doing great you're very stable but i feel like with the three of swords when we pair both of these cards i feel like spirit is saying you're not to hold on to grudges um although this person um although this person is uh has caused a lot of pain in your life and they took a lot of a lot of they took a, advantage of you for for a very long time i do feel like spirit is saying forgive this person not for them but for you um why because this person truly it doesn't matter if it's with you or if it's with someone else they're always going to have this issue until they do their self-searching they do their soul searching they do all their self-healing and do their shadow work if not they're gonna they're, they're gonna go into the next it doesn't matter if the next girl has um, her coochie's made out of gold or she has this great career and she has all these things going on for her he will mess that situation up or she will mess that situation up because this individual does not have their shit together this person is just going through life um, without doing the necessary spiritual work within themselves to help themselves propel themselves forward in life and so it tends to be that they fall in love with the idea of people but when shit gets real they just don't know how to handle things and it's because they really need to spend some time by themselves and spirit is saying forgive that person because they don't know what they're doing they really don't know what they're doing but you know better so forgive that person and let that shit go okay the eight of pentacles here is about you working really hard on yourself and your stability what else do we need to know about this situation mm -mm. Okay, so someone here is going to work very, very hard on trying to reconcile this situation, okay? This person wants to, they want you to forgive them. They want to apologize. And what does spirit have to say? What else do you need to know about this apology? Yeah, they're going to be trying to reach out to you with the aid of, of wands here. This person is going to send all types of messages. They're definitely going to try to get in contact with you, but... How does spirit feel about this connection with the seven of pentacles? You need to really assess this, Virgo. Or you have been assessing this for some time, okay? Um, is this something that you feel like can grow? If not, then no, okay? Stop lying to yourself. Don't be in denial with what you already know, okay? What you already know to be true. What else do we need to see here? Okay. Yeah, this person right here with the six of wands in reverse, this person is very, very prideful, but I feel like with it in reverse, they're going to let their pride down. And it is because they really want to speak to you. They really want to apologize. And I feel like I saw the three of wands just pop out, but I didn't grab it. I feel like this person knows it's your birthday. Wow. Yeah, this person with the page of swords here, this person is looking to reach out to you. Okay, they're curious about you. They are looking into finding a way. They're looking at your social media. I did see the three of cups pop out for a second, but I didn't grab it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like your birthday's coming up or has passed and or is about to come up, whether it's in the, ne in the next few days or in the next week and a half. I do feel like this person is going to be, um, they're going to look for ways to pop up. Okay, to pop up at your birthday celebration, um, to pop up at your house and bring you gifts and really apologize to you for what they have done. But with the King of Swords here, Spirit is asking you to be objective with this situation. Okay, the King of Swords is someone who hardly, 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 hardly ever, ever, ever uses their emotions. They look at situations in an objective way because they're like, look, I came to do a job. I'm gonna do this job. I'm not gonna involve my emotions here. So Spirit is saying, assess the situation. You've had time to assess the situation at this point. Um, you know, we did see the 10 of swords, which is this person is regretful because they see the ending. They feel the ending with the situation, okay? But it is time for you, Virgo. You know, you at the end of the day, you have free will to come and go as you please. So although I'm reading these cards, it really is up to you. Only you truly know where you are in this relationship or if you can forgive this person. If you feel that you can forgive this person and move past things and you feel that this relationship, this connection has the... Um, 
the capability of growing and the potential to grow, then, you know, that's really up to you to decide whether you want to forgive this person. But if you are being honest with yourself and you feel like this person just keeps playing games and it's you've been doing this for a while, nothing has changed. You have to you have to also be honest to yourself and honor those um, feelings and emotions. OK, now let's draw some cards of advice. What is your advice spirit? Okay, spirit, I see you. We got the nine of cups here, okay? The nine of cups shows you independent, doing your own thing, happy, content, fulfilled, okay? You're fulfilled because with the sun card, you finally feel free to do what you want at any old time, okay? So the sun card ruled by Leo, okay? The sun card is all about freedom, is all about happiness, harmony, bliss, spiritual awakenings, okay? Then we have the queen of swords here. I see you being very, um, like I said earlier, the advice is to be objective with this situation. We have the king of swords. This is their husband and wife. They do the same thing together, okay? They're a calculator, okay? They are two plus two is four, not four-ish. They're very um, clear and concise. I like I think I might my lip I probably do that's so annoying. Um these th this couple is very clear and concise Virgo. So the 9 of cups going into the sun card and going into the king uh the queen of swords here. Is spirit saying do what you feel is right and do what feels good for you. You have now the time to be comfortable within yourself, to find your own harmony within yourself again. The sun card brings warmth and happiness and vitality. And the queen of swords is your advice to be objective. Don't be emotional. Don't um, think about truly what is going to work for you. What is making you unhappy? What is making you happy? And go with that because that is ultimately going to bring you your happiness. You know, if this situation hasn't been working out for some time, stop putting yourself in that situation. Again, if you feel like you can move past it, that's on you, boo. Now, what do the goddesses have to say to you? What do the goddesses have to say to you? All right, so we have Sulis with the bodies of water, and she says to you, spend time near water such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. And along with that, who she flew out with was Cordelia. Go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Some of you guys need a vacation, Virgo. Maybe you guys are going to be taking a vacation for your birthday, and I do feel like this is going to be a good time for you to replenish, to rejuvenate yourself, to really restore your energy, and really to get your mind right. And for those of you who are not going away, um, you know, I'm not sure if you guys can get away with your work schedule or the way that your money is looking, but Spirit is saying it is time for you to go outside, connect with the earth, do some meditation outside, go to the pool. I would say go to the beach because the beach is, you know, more natural than a man-made pool, but do what you can to go outside, connect with the sun, connect with the stars. Um, and this is going to give you more mindfulness, especially with all the noise right now going on in the world. That is the conclusion of your reading for this month. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.